This is the guidance film for the National Curriculum Level Descriptors for the Skills of Cause and Consequence. In these films we would like the students to use this and the other films in the series to enhance their work and to illustrate their progress. In asking for additional work to be marked, students should be able to use the information in this film to articulate what they believe they've achieved in order to justify progress to higher levels within this skill. So a level four in the cause and consequence skill. Level four being for Plimstock School students, the level where one would expect students of an average ability to be by the end of year seven. They understand the term of cause and effect and how they are related. They can write descriptions of several reasons for the causes of an historical event using paragraphs to provide a structure for their written work. So again, we are linking back to the communicating about the past model that we've already spoken about in earlier films and thinking about the PEA model that's core to the construction of paragraphs. Students are beginning to understand that events can have multiple and interlinking causes. So the start of our understanding of the multi-causal factors at play in history. At level five, students beginning to understand and show knowledge for the relationship between cause and consequence. Students able to suggest links that might help to explain cause and effect on particular examples that they have studied. At level six, students will understand that there are different types of causes of an event and are able to categorize them to, ex um, to create an argument. So again, level six, when one is thinking about how we construct some of the essays that students are writing, for example, on the Armada. Uh, students beginning to explain relationships between different causes of historical events and can appreciate that the cause of events can be valued in different ways by different people. So the perception of the audience can affect cause and consequence. At level seven, students appreciate the significance of the multiple causes of events and how they are possibly interlinked. So much more complicated causation being understood by students. Students can make sophisticated links between eras and how events link together and how societies develop. Students can write answers that categorize causes and consider the evidence to form a balanced judgment with clear analysis. Again, linking back to the communicating about the past skill. At level eight, students can write answers that evaluate and is critical of the different interpretations of causes of events. So linking to the idea of reliability when we're talking about the PEAR extended written model. Students can make sophisticated links between the cause and consequence to construct sustained analysis about issues in history. Students can successfully incorporate interpretations of events into arguments and understand why people offer them and take their bias into account. And at level of exceptional performance. Again, the theme of independent inquiry, an appreciation of the complexity of history, and taking the complexity and structuring it into a coherent argument. Students are reflective in their written work and use evidence creatively to build and extend substantiated analytical arguments. So how students progress from level to level. As before with previous films, please pause where appropriate to look in depth at the prompts that are provided to help you consider how one would move from level four upward. We have five prompts for this one. And to move from level five, four prompts. Students should be able to use these descriptors and these suggestions to guide their future planning and to reflect upon why they've arrived at a certain level and not progressed beyond it. At level six, level seven, level eight, and finally to the exceptional performance level. 